the Grand Lodge of the Philippines came about not because uh, we just decided to organize, right? Uh, we are we have we are descended from uh, what you call the system of regular Freemasonry, uh, and we can trace it all the way back to the original Grand Lodge that started that system from us. The uh, Grand Lodge of the Philippines, we have our Mother Grand Lodge, which is the Grand Lodge of California, which in turn has a Mother Grand Lodge, which is the Grand Lodge of Massachusetts, which in turn has a Mother Grand Lodge, which is the Grand Lodge of uh, England, the United Grand Lodge of England, which is a Mother Grand Lodge of the world. You want a little more of this history, you can go back to the June webinar. The Mother Grand Lodge of the world has highlighted that in order for you to be considered a regular Freemason, you must follow eight basic principles. Those principles you can divide. Four principles relating to ethical philosophy, Freemasonry, the craft as a practice as an ethical philosophy, and four principles highlighting that the craft is a social institution. You see it there, okay? As an ethical philosophy, all Freemasons must believe in one God. Why one? You'll find out later. All Freemasons also, when they enter, they will be required to commit themselves to the philosophy in what we term as an obligation, that they commit the, you know, on with their faith as their foundation. It is a philosophy that essentially seeks to mentor you to become a better man. That is why membership is exclusively of males. And it is a philosophy that is learned through three degrees. There will be more. You can go deeper, but those three degrees are essential. That is the core of the philosophy. And the way that is expressed is through what we call the social institution of Freemasonry. All the social Freemason, the, this social institution has four major characteristics. All Grand Lodges in the world, although they are all sovereign within their territory, trace their origin back to the United Grand Lodge of England. That's what number the first principle means there. And then principle six, seven, and eight of this list relate to the other characteristics of being a social institution. When you attend a meeting, you will see the volume of sacred law. If it is a predominantly Christian uh, Christian lodge, you'll see the Bible. If it is a predominantly Muslim lodge, you'll see a Quran. If you have both, you'll see both there, right? Why? Why believe in one God but many faiths? You'll find out later. Okay, and then in addition to that, you have the square and compasses in that altar. Again, why those three? The volume of sacred law, the square and compasses. Again, you'll find out later. Okay, and then also, it also, uh, as a social institution, we practice two principles. We facilitate tolerance by prohibiting religion, the discussion of religion and politics within the lodge. That's so that we can better have fellowship together, okay? Uh, and that is our main difference, uh, regular Freemasons. That is the main difference between us and continental Freemasons. Because continental Freemasons, they are a very liberal uh, branch of Freemasonry. They don't have this, number seven. Nor do they have uh, principle number two. Okay, uh, uh, belief in God. Many, many of the Grand Lodge. That's our. That's a major distinction. Principle number eight also is while we facilitate tolerance, we also want to avoid innovation. Why? Because the ritual of the first to three degrees they present immemor They present lessons that are immemorial. I mean, th those are lessons that transcend time. And in order to make sure that you don't end up fouling up those lessons as much as possible, innovation is discouraged when it comes to presenting those three degrees. So that if you follow these eight principles, brethren and guests, you can say you are a regular Freemason, whether you're a member of the Grand Lodge of the Philippines or the Grand United Grand Lodge of England or any of the 52 Grand Lodges in the United States. There's a Grand Lodge for every state, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico, okay? And uh, also, if you're in uh, uh, those Prince Hall Grand Lodges recognized by as regular, you must follow these eight principles.